Looking at the Pacific Theater in World War II, much of the fighting occurs between Japan and the United States on islands that are not part of Japan. How did Japan come to dominate such a large empire in the Pacific when they were isolated from the rest of the Western world less than 100 years previously? We will look at some of the developments of Japan in the early 20th century that helped lead to its expansionism in confrontation with the United States, leading to the conflicts in the Pacific during World War II. Domestically, Japan has a military tradition within its culture that is deeply rooted within its society. Up until the 1920s during the Meiji period, the time after Matthew Perry opened Japan to the West in the 1850s, Japan was controlled by a few elite statesmen. However, the statesmen died off in the 1920s and no one was able to fill the void left by their power. In 1930, with the conquest of Manchuria, Japan's military filled the void and controlled much of the Japanese government. They will control public opinion through manipulation of schools, textbooks, and the media, while the emperor does little as his power is mainly symbolic, similar to the power of the monarchy in Great Britain. Although the emperor had little political power, he had much cultural influence within Japan itself. Before the Meiji Restoration, the emperor had no political power and was seen as the head of the Shinto religion and that he was descended from the gods. With the Meiji Restoration, the emperor came to national prominence and the people were not allowed to look at him or speak his name. Nationalism had moved to levels of sacredness. As a result, giving one's life for the emperor through the military would be seen as an honor to one's family. This led to the eventual creation of kamikaze pilots who flew suicide missions into allied ships in the Pacific. Racism played a further role in Japan's quest in the Pacific, and they acted as the victim and the aggressor. As a victim, Japan was subject to racial slurs provided by Western nations and Japan was bitter at Western nations' refusal to create a statement of racial equality in the covenant of the League of Nations. However, the Japanese similarly acted as the aggressor in racism by considering Western people as soft for focusing on rights and well-being of individuals and not on ideals of sacrifice for a nation. The Japanese viewed themselves as liberators of Asian colonies who at first welcomed them but turned bitter. The Japanese displayed their own arrogance and prejudice over other Asian peoples as well and caused much resentment in the areas which they had allegedly liberated. Economically, Japan needed raw resources to supply its nation and manufactured goods to support itself during the Great Depression. As an island, Japan does not have many raw resources and so the nation needed to colonize other Asian nations and regions to secure resources for themselves. Japan was able to come out of the Great Depression by the mid-1930s as a result of heavy industry such as ship manufacture and militarization. This cost Japan large sums of money, and they needed to expand to fund the industry and provide the needed raw materials. Japan used its colonies of Korea, Taiwan, and Manchuria for its raw material needs to then undercut the prices of Western nations. Although Japan gained most of its needed raw resources from its colonies, they still needed rubber and oil from trade with the United States and Great Britain. They sought to make themselves independent from the U.S. and Britain by conquering British Malaysia and French Indochina in Southeast Asia. The U.S. did not take kindly to this move and placed an embargo on Japan, specifically on needed oil. In response to the embargo and previous motivations discussed, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, in the hopes to destroy the U.S. Pacific Fleet in one swipe. Although the United States was severely damaged by the attack, many of the ships were repaired within weeks, and the three U.S. aircraft carriers were at sea and were untouched. Japan had now dragged the U.S. into World War II.